Hey class, now that you will know the basics, let's get started. We are trying to work out a profit loss statement. And you see that I have a table with predefined numbers here. We are trying to find out what is the gross margin in dollars and what is the operating profit or it could be a loss in dollars and we're trying to find out the percentages here so um the formula to calculate the gross margin if you have not learned it yet um, is to have net sale less the cost of good sale okay. and as net sale less COG as the cost of goods sold so the very first step to do a calculation is to type a formula sign that's the equal sign here on your keyboard and um, you can type the sale reference for example b2 would be the cell reference of net cell okay. and let me type a minus sign then um, the next would be um, to type in the cost of goods cell now, instead of do instead of doing a B three manually on the keyboard, you can use your mouse to select this cell. Let me click on this one, okay. and you will see that B three is automatically um, typed in. So now we have completed this formula. Let's just hit the enter button on your keyboard. And the voila, you see the gross margin in dollars. In the same way, you can calculate the operating profit or loss using um, the formula. Okay, profit or loss equals to gross margin less operating expenses. And don't forget that you will need to hit the enter button. Now we've completed the dollar column. We know that um, the operating profit for this company will be $20. And what about the percentages? First of all, we know that net sale is always 100%. Say, um, we don't have to calculate, but if we want, that's 100% um, always based on the formula that this equals to net sale over net sales. Next, we are trying to calculate the cost of goods sold in percent. Well, the way is to go by definition. Let's type in a equal sign first. Um, cost of goods sold equals to the dollar cost of goods sold over the dollar net sales so that's forty dollars over one hundred dollar and that's equal to zero point four or forty percent here okay no worries we can change the format later the next one gross margin there were two ways to calculate the gross margin the first way is to go by um, definition gross margin equals to um, the dollar gross margin over the dollar net sales. That's one way. Um, the other way is to calculate, say, remember, gross margin equals um, net sale less cost of goods sold. We can also use a second formula. Yeah gross margin in percentage 
equals to the net sale in percentage less the cost of goods sold in percent. So um, both ways are acceptable and both ways are correct. For operating expenses, we go by the definition $40 over $100. Um, and also operating expenses, we can go by definition uh, $20 over $100. Or we can go with the other way that profit equals to gross margin less the total operating expense. Both way, they should give you the same answer. Now let me format this one. Um, we would like to format this as a percent number, so I would go to percentage and ask for two decimal places here. And um, that's not the final step. Always, I hope you double check your formulas. The way to double check is to go to the formula view. Let me go to the formulas tab. Uh, now we are seeing all the numbers. But we are really interested in is to see whether our formula um, makes sense. So um, let me click on the show formulas button. And by clicking this show formulas button, you should be able to see all the formulas that are um, used on this sheet. For example, if you click on this one, um, C3, the way to calculate cost of goods sold, well, you used B3 over B2. And the cells that are used, they are highlighted over here. And we can see that for the percent column, all those numbers are over the net cell, which is by definition uh, the correct way. So now we are sure we are uh, doing the right way. Now I can switch back to the normal view. And Thanks for watching.